if one wrong person meets you, wrong things will start happening. And if one right person meets you, right things will start happening. And when wrong people leave your life, wrong things will stop happening. So relationship is very powerful. When any wrong person comes to your life, everything will go upside down. You don't need any prophet to tell you that. And when wrong people come your way, everything goes upside down. And when right people come your way, right things begin to happen. So I always pray that the right people come your way for your life to go forward. And when right people meet you, you'll be thank God for it. My meet you today, Paul, thank God for it. Are you going to say now? There are people that you meet, your life just take a clear shape. There are people you meet, everything about your life will turn upside down. So may God give the right people. Amen. Amen. In the name of Jesus. You will never meet the wrong persons. God will give you the right persons. One Jonah in the boat is too much to destroy the whole boat. I want Jesus the boat is also good to keep the boat afloat. A Jonah will sink the boat. A Jesus will keep the boat. So may no Jonah enter our lives. Amen. Jesus prayed for even in marriage. Don't just go into marriage because the girl is fine. Make sure you pray well. Are you getting up now? The worst thing, you'll be in hell on earth if you marry a wrong man or a wrong woman. It's hell on earth. I, may God never allow you to marry the wrong person. Yeah. It's better those of you who are matured women, especially, especially women. You've gotten matured. Don't rush again. Don't say, because I'm old, anything I've come, I'll manage. No. You have stayed to 40. Don't manage. Let God give you who will give you peace. Yeah. The rest of your life. Don't say, I'm getting old. Anybody, anything will come, I will take. No. You're not at the motor park. That you enter every motor park, you select transport. Now, do you enter every bus? Not every bus you select, you enter. But we have been blessed. Samson, God bless you and, um, for that short message. And God bless all our pastors who contributed. Powerful men of God. But when I grow up, I'll be wearing a suit like this. Uh, I'm wearing three pieces, I wear a tie. Amen. I'm still growing. So when I grow up, I'm still growing. But I mean, if you want God to bless you today, with good relationship. With good what? Just one simple prayer. Lord, bring the right person my way. The person that will move me to the next level. Just meeting with the but changing my entire life. I was in another church, as John Lysans was talking, but just meeting him turned my own life. There are people you meet, everything about you will turn. Everything will just turn. Lord, wherever that person I need to meet to change me to the next level. Both horizontal and vertical. God caused me to meet that person. And if I've met that person, I pray for grace to maintain that relationship. Because relationship must be maintained also. It takes a lot of grace to maintain relationship. Some people don't have to maintain relationship. They just hit you. One statement can destroy relationship. Lord, I receive grace to maintain the right relationship. Go ahead and pray that prayer for yourself in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. I said this sometime. I said, never meet a person at the first time and place a demand. Never. Young ladies, hear me. No matter how hungry you are, even if the man is the richest, don't tell him I'm hungry for the first time. Let him be the one to say, let's go and eat. Are you going to now? The person will spend more on you when you don't place a demand. Everybody gets scared of demand. It's nature and man. They will not tell you. The first time you meet a person because he's rich, you just say, excuse me, I, want, I, I like to buy, <laughs> he will not talk. 
He said, okay. I never marry you. You want me to buy like this? Allow him. Allow him. A man with 300 will spend, but don't meet him for the first time. He said, I'd like to go to a presidential. <laughs> he may have the money, but you don't be the one to tell him. He said, where do you like to go? Anywhere you like. The man was say, okay, this one, with my money, she's not after my money. She's after what I carry. You know, she's, she's like every Because you're not the only girl. There are many like you. And everyone who comes come for his money. So you have to have a new lifestyle to be able to attract him to yourself. You know, relationship is, you have to place yourself. Now, um, Ruth placed herself before Boaz. Read Ruth. She had to place herself for Boaz to be attracted. Most women don't know. There are men, they will be the ones to say, I want to marry you. Pushing yourself, Ruth pushing herself by the advice of Naomi. But many of you, once you meet somebody, he say, hey, where you go carry me, come out. <laughs> where you say, we'll go now. Hey, you know the carry person, come out, say, carry me. You will not tell him all the joints. It's okay. For you to know all these joints, he too is a joint man. <laughs> is that means so many people have carried you to those joints. He say, yeah, one of those, no marriage. We'll just see you go. Where you go, go. Anywhere you like, take me. That's wisdom. He said, okay, this one does not want my money. She's after just what I can. Okay, let's go. But when you go eat small, don't eat too much. <laughs> <laughs> don't pretend, but don't eat everything. <laughs> eat. Don't pretend to eat, but don't eat the way. Ah, this one, this one. Go finish my money one day. God bless you. Every one of you that is a part of this meeting, business relationship, Marital relationship, relationship are many. It's not business relationship. One wrong businessman in your company can destroy a business. Whether business relationship, the right persons will come your way. Yeah. I pray whether family relationship, marital relationship, business relationship, is the right persons you meet in the name of Jesus. Yeah. You don't need more than one right person for your life to move up. 50 friends who don't have anything to offer. It's not as important as one person who has something to offer. Now, in the name of Jesus, the one that will move you to the next level, may that person come your way. Amen. Someone that will shift you to the next level of life. Amen. I pray that God will bring that person in the name of Jesus. Amen. And anyone not adding to you, God will take them off your life. Amen. Anyone not putting anything to your life, God will take them off your life. Amen. You will meet the right person in the name of Jesus. I'm led by the Holy Ghost. I repeat again, don't get too familiar. When Jesus met John, God has given me a word. Jesus knew without John, nobody will know him. If John never announced, he used to pray to announce to the Jews that this is the lamb that came to take away the sins of the world, nobody would have respected the ministry of Jesus. John was a voice, but he needed him to put an authentic stamp on the ministry of Jesus. So, I get now? So, Jesus knew, he said, look, hey, you, you, I submit to your own leadership now. The anointing was not the same. Jesus had the whole anointing, but he needed to submit. The authenticity of his ministry would never be established without John the Baptist, because he knew John was a voice, a honest voice. So, John said, this is the lamb that came to the He said, womb, God is well, please, please hear him. The whole Israel said, then, if John can say so, then the ministry of Jesus is real. That was how Jesus became accepted. There are people you meet, they need to put a stamp on your business. They say, if that man can say, this man is a good man, then he's a good man. Now in the name of Jesus, I pray for you that the Holy Ghost will make you no such persons. I pray for your eyes to open. In business especially. In ministry especially. To know who will take the next level in the name of Jesus. May your eyes and understanding come alive. Amen. And to all of our youth who say, I want to marry, I'm tired. I stand here as a father and I pray for you. Every father wants his children to marry. Now I pray for miracle marriages. Amen. I pray for miracle marriages. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. you will get married Amen. to the man you desire. Amen. To the woman of your heart. Amen. In the name of Jesus. There shall be no regrets Amen. in everyone's life. Amen. Peace Amen. in all of our marriages. Amen. If your marriage is about to divorce, I command peace. Amen. 
That marriage will not crash. Amen. God will restore the both of you. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. I hear God. As my youngest friend. There's somebody in this meeting, another at the headquarters. Your uncle has vowed you will never get married. You are four in the family, no one is married. No one. That's how you know you are the one. Four women with a brother, five. But your brother is the only one because he didn't set his eyes on him. But your uncle had vowed four of you will not marry. And the four of you are all grown up. Now, when God speaks to one, he speaks to all. They are not the only ones. There are some persons maybe here or somewhere who are also in that state. Whatever spell cast on you to make you not to get married, I cast that spell in the name of Jesus. Every spell cast on you, whether male or female, that you shouldn't get married, that spell is destroyed by the blood of Jesus. And if there be any health challenge that is delaying your marriage, I pronounce you healed. Amen. Bless your people. Amen. Let everyone in this time with Jesus have a testimony. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Between now and this time next month, you'll be testifying. Amen. You'll be testifying. Amen. You'll be testifying. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. It is done.